Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by today. For today's video, we are doing part three of round two of my 2021 eyeshadow palette collection slash declutter. I expect this one to be a much um, bigger declutter, so if that sounds interesting to you, then why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so um, as I've mentioned in several videos, in my first eyeshadow declutter, I did not get a, get rid of enough eyeshadow palettes. I have way too many still, and I've brought a lot in since I've even filmed that decl those declutter videos. So I'm trying to be brutal and get rid of a lot more stuff in um, these videos. So um, I will actually be selling anything that I um, get rid of on my Mercari page, my Mercari store or whatever. So that'll be linked down below if you're interested in buying anything. But I'm just throwing that out there. But anyways, hopefully you guys like massive declutters and hopefully I can meet your expectations. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing I have is the um, Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti. Um, a Stacy Marie Makeup Artist um, Carnival 3 palette and that's what this looks like right here very very nice very beautiful lots of gorgeous shades um, so I don't see myself getting rid of this but I do want to hold it up next to her other one that I have which is the Carnival XL Pro palette um, and compare okay yeah, I thought the colors were a lot different. Um, this one's a, like, a lot deeper. You've got a lot more neutrals and um, just deeper colors in general. And this one is a lot brighter. So, yeah, I'm going to keep both of these because um, what I really love about these palettes is, well, what I love and don't love, I guess, um, you could look at it either way, is um, that there's a lot of mattes, um, a lot more mattes than there, than there are um, shimmers. And since I have so many palettes that have like just shimmers um, and I have a lot of bright palettes that have a lot of shimmers, it's great to have a palette, palettes like these to fall back on to have um, nice mattes, colorful mattes, because I don't like to necessarily start my looks when I'm doing a colorful look with a like a brown transition shade. A lot of times I like to start it with a colorful transition shade. So it's great to have a palette or palettes that have um, colorful um, transition shades or, or colorful mattes that I can use as transition shades. So I am going to hang on to both of these for that reason. Okay, next up, I'm going to tell you, I'm going through my Glam Light um, palette collection and this one is not going to be massive. I'm not getting probably not getting rid of any of these. Um, I don't know, maybe one or two, but that's about it. So let's take a look. Um, the first one I have here is the um, Glam Donut. I guess I should have left it in the packaging so y'all can see the packaging, because I kept all the packaging. So there's the Glam Donut. Okay. And this is what the Glam Donut looks like. It actually is raised, so it does look, you know, kind of like a donut. And then this is what it looks like, and it actually only has three um, mattes, and the rest are shimmers. So, like I said, like um, a palette, like one of those that I just showed y'all from the Be Perfect would be great to pair with one of these. Looking at this now, it's beautiful. I've never used this. Um, so I think I am going to go ahead and get rid of it just because I have so many Glam Light palettes and a lot of them have kind of repetitious colors in them, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing. They're, I love Glam Light's formula, so that's not a problem, but I don't think I need this, so I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. Wow, I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay, and my next one is the Glam Light Viva Taco palette. Okay, and this one right here is more of a, it's a little bit more neutral, a little bit darker. Definitely you don't have the real bright colors that most of Glam Light's palettes have. Um, 
So I am going to hang on to this one. I do like this one. Um, you're going to see that most of these haven't been used and the reason for that is because I have like a, I had purchased them in like a bundle and I just haven't had a chance to get to them. Plus they're a little bit older, um, which really honestly I should be getting rid of them, but I don't know. I love the, the Glam Light formula so much. I just, I have a really hard time getting rid of them. So um, along with that, I have the Straight Taco Palette. Now this one I have, I believe I've used this one. Let me see. Um, yes, I have used this one and I love this one. It's nice and bright and those shimmers are incredible. You can see I dug real good into that purple one. That's like my favorite one, of course. Um, but this is a really, really pretty palette. I want to kind of do it to where you can see all of the shimmers. Um, and I like the size of it, so it's going nowhere. Plus, it's just adorable. And I'm not sure. I think I showed you all the packaging that it comes in. Um, but I'll show it to y'all again. This is the packaging it comes in if I didn't show y'all. So definitely keeping that one. Okay, next up I have the um, Glam Light Pie Palette. Okay. And this one. Oh, there we go. don't even hardly remember this one okay so this one oh, I like these shades kind of some mauve shades in here and some neutrals sorry bear with me I'm trying to get the tape off so I can get the plastic off all right this is how the pie palette looks like it does have a mirror that I'm going to fold back and then in the middle is a blush which of course could be used as an eyeshadow palette as well and then you've got a lot of pinks and mauves and you've got a few neutral shades like right here is a good neutral shade there's a good neutral shade there a nice couple neutral shades right there so I like this palette um, I like the the shades a lot so I am gonna keep this palette and try to get around to making a video with it all right now this one is the miracle palette unfortunately they no longer sell this one either and I haven't even touched this palette um, so this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. I'm pretty sure it came out during like breast cancer awareness one month and the proceeds went to breast cancer awareness. Um, but I haven't touched it. So, um, being that I haven't touched it, someone can get a brand new palette and enjoy it more than myself and they no longer sell this palette. So I can't really use it on camera. I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Okay. Next up I have the chocolate donut palette. And I have used this one. This one is adorable. Um, and it's like one of their only neutral palettes. Again, it's raised, so like a donut. And like I said, this is a neutral palette. Um, the middle is a highlight, or of course you could use it on your eyes. Um, this is a very pretty palette and I am definitely keeping this palette. Okay. Next up, I have the Glam Light Burger Slider Palette. And it's really cute. It's in like a um, wrapper like you would have a burger in. And then it looks like a hamburger. So like chomp out of it, you know. Um, and then it's raised like a bun would be. And then here's what it looks like. And it does have a mirror. Bear with me, I haven't used this one, so the plastic's still in here. Okay, it does have a big mirror, so I'm going to fold that back so I don't blind you. And then here are all the colors. I do like that it has a couple, a few neutrals in here. Um, and then it's got some really bright uh, shimmers and one neutral shimmer. So I, I like the color combinations in here, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Again, I'll probably get to these like on a throwback Thursday or flashback Friday or something like that. Maybe I'll do a series where I use all my glam light palettes in one week or something, you know, like hit a hit a like a brand per week or something. I don't know. I haven't decided how I'm going to go back and use these, but um, I, I am planning to go back and use some of my older ones that I am keeping. I'm not keeping a lot of them, but some of my older ones that I'm I am keeping that they still have that I know are still relevant that people still want to see. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to go back and do some videos on those ones that I haven't necessarily done videos on. 
Okay, this is the uh, Michaela palette, Glam Light X Michaela palette. I have done a video on this with one look. I wish I had done more looks. Has glitter in there that moves, and then it's got her name on the outside and glitter. It's beautiful. This is totally my aesthetic, too. This lavender. It's got a huge mirror that I'll fold back so it doesn't blind y'all. And then look at all of those gorgeous shades. Um, the top two rows are more neutral and then down here you've got your brighter colors and she's got a lot of pop and shimmers in here. So this one's definitely going nowhere. This is a gorgeous palette inside and out. So yeah, I'm definitely hanging on to this palette and plan to do another video with it, hopefully. And that series that I keep bringing up once I figure out how I'm going to do it. Okay, um, next, I don't know why I don't have the box to this one. Maybe I got rid of it, but this is the Pro Paint Palette. This is their smaller version. It has a lot of their brighter colors in this one. Um, and I really like this one, so it's staying. Um, I'm just surprised I don't have the packaging. I thought I'd kept the packaging for everything, but I guess not for that one. Um, and then this is their Paint Palette and it opens like this and it comes with a little paintbrush there's a little piece of paper over it let me see if i can get that off and get the palette out and this one is quite a bit larger so i'll put them side by side so you can see them <clears throat> so there you go you can see they're quite a it's quite a bit larger the paint palette is um i'm not sure 18. I think they have the same number of shades. This one they just spaced them out a lot more. So this one is a little not quite as bright um, as this one is. This one it's just they have different colors basically. Um, so there you go. You can see they have different colors. You've got a little bit more primary colors in here too. So and this one seems to have a little bit more shimmers. So I'm definitely keeping both of them. Um, so put that one back in the box. And I can't believe I got rid of the box for the Pro Palette. That surprises me. But whatever. So if anyone has the box for the Pro Palette that they want to sell or send to me, I will happily take that because I want the packaging for all of these. I don't know why I got rid of it. If you're one to not keep your packaging. I keep some of my packaging and some of my packaging I don't keep. Okay, next up I have the burger palette, and I think this is, it was, no, I think it was the pizza palette that started it all. I have that one too. Um, but this is the burger palette. It has a wrapper on it as well. And it's raised up as well. Um, now this one is brand new, but I have actually used my other one that's going to be on my Mercari page. I had a, bun they had a big bundle deal that had a couple palettes that I didn't have. Pardon me. So I bought that bundle um, and I got some other things too. So um, I bought that bundle and so now I've got this brand new um, in my collection. So I'll be selling my other one um, on my Mercari page if you're interested and it'll be at a good discount. So one thing I will tell you about this is the shimmers are so emollient that you'll see already this is brand new and already you've got some of the like dimethicone leaking right here and it's leaking a lot more on the one that i'll be selling but it, there's nothing wrong with the shadows absolutely nothing wrong there's no mold or anything like that and i've had my other one for at least a year nothing wrong with it it's just it's so emollient and shimmery that the dimethicone is leaking onto that um packaging and I guess they fixed the problem going forward with some of some of their other ones because they don't seem to do that on their other ones but I guess on this particular formula it was a little bit more emollient maybe than the other ones were I don't know but it's it's a really really good palette I love this palette it's going nowhere um all right next up I have the glam light what is this one called ice cream dream palette 
And of course it's an ice cream truck, so adorable. Open it up and in here that's how it's stored. So I'll pull it out. And it has little sprinkles in there that move. Just like the glitter moved in the Michaela palette. And then it has a huge mirror that I'll fold back. And I haven't used this one yet either. But look at all those bright, beautiful colors and all those beautiful shimmers. I can't wait to use this one. So yeah, I definitely plan on using this one in the future. And this one has a lot of pastels, so this will be great to pull out in the spring. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing with that one. Okay, next up, this is another one that I, I will be selling on my Mercari page, my other one. Um, I just got this one brand new. Um, and actually, my other one I think is new, but it just came in a, in a bundle. So I pulled the ones that were in the bundle aside and pulled the other ones out of my collection, whether they were new or not, just to start fresh. Um, so this is what this looks like. It has a huge mirror there, and then it folds back, and there we go. And I think it's beautiful. Um, as you can tell, there are some kind of repetitious shades within the Glam Light collection, but I don't care. They're so beautiful, I don't care. <laughs> I will use all of them um, happily, and that's not a problem to me. And I just, I just love the packaging. They're so creative. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, and this is the one that started it all. This is the Glam Light Pizza Palette. This one I did not have, so this was in the bundle that I had recently purchased to help me get some stuff that I didn't have in my collection. Um, so let me take the plastic off of here. Okay, and there's a huge mirror, and I'll fold that back. Did I show you all the front of the palette? There's the front of the palette. It looks delicious. It's like a, a Supreme Pizza. And then here you go, this is the inside of the palette. So it's the slices and the names on here are, you know, names of like the toppings you would have on your pizza. So you've got like ham and pepperoni and green peppers, extra cheese, mushrooms, red onions, pineapple, bacon, garlic, prosciutto, basil, meatballs, jalapenos, hot sauce, black olives, marinara, so on and so forth. There's a few more in here. Um, this one's a little bit more neutral um, and a little bit more toned down. So I do like it because the rest of them are pretty papal. So um, I feel like I could use this one more actually now in the, in the winter season. It feels more like fall for us here in Texas, but in the winter season um, because they're a little bit deeper shades. So I'm definitely going to um, hopefully be doing a look with this palette here not before too long okay and then i've got one left for glam light and that is the um cupcake palette so this one same thing it folds i don't know if i showed y'all the cake palette it folds open here and it folds open here and then it holds it inside there wait a minute i'm missing three palettes four palettes I'm missing the Margarita Palette, Chocolate Martini, Wine, and Dirty Martini Palette. Okay, I'll have to find those because those aren't going anywhere. I haven't even touched them yet. Oh, maybe I showed them. Oh, I probably showed them in, in part one. Um, part one as to palettes that I needed to um, do videos on. I bet I did. Okay, so here you go. This is the, um, what are, what's it called? Cupcake Palette? Yeah, the cupcake palette, and it has some beautiful purple and pink tones in here. So I love this. It's beautiful. Um, I thought it was going to be more red um, from the pictures, but it's not. It's it's a little bit more pink and purple and mauve tone. So that's right up my alley. So I'm definitely hanging on to that one. So yeah, so I've already shown these, but these are my other four glam light palettes. So I've got the dirty martini. I'm sorry. This is the chocolate martini. This one is the margarita, this one's the wine, and this one's the dirty martini. So I'll be making videos on those soon. All right, give me just a second. I'm gonna put these away and I'm gonna pull more out for us to look at. Okay, I am back. This is the continuation of part three, I believe. Um, I am continuing after my Glam Light palette, so I'm going to try to move a little quicker and I know I'm getting rid of some stuff here. 
So we'll start first with the Ace Butte Classical Paradise. I have two of them. So this is the old formula and this is the new formula. Um, so I did a, a video comparing the old formula to the new formula and I like the new formula better so I'm getting rid of the older formula. But that's what it looks like. The color story looks absolutely exactly the same in the, um, in the new formula so I'm not going to, to open that just for time's sake. Okay, um, next up I have the ABH Carly Bible palette. Okay, and I have actually never used this palette. Looks like I nicked it with my nail maybe, but I've actually never used this palette and I don't think it's available anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that one go. Okay, and then next up I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which just is a classic. So I am going to hang on to this one. Um, I still like it, it still performs well, so I'm going to hang on to that one. Then I have the um, Gingerbread Spice palette, and that's what this one looks like. Still performs well, it's beautiful. I actually liked this one better than the extra spicy that they came out with, so I didn't get the extra spicy. Um, so really like this one, so definitely keeping this one. I'm um, looking forward to playing with this a little bit during the winter, um, so definitely not letting that one go. Okay, then I have the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. Same thing, love this palette. It's not going anywhere either. I wish it was still available, but I guess these are ones I'll just play with off camera. Okay, then I've got the Morphe um, Cherry Coke palette. You know, I never had a chance to do a video on it, and it's just not really necessarily my style with the reds um the neutrals yeah but the the reds i don't use so much so i'm gonna go ahead and let this one go because i think they are in the process of discontinuing this if i'm not mistaken so i'm just gonna go ahead and let it go there's no point in keeping it around if i don't think i'm gonna use it especially after one video i'm trying to be a little bit um a little bit more picky with the palettes that I buy. Um, and then I've got an Ofra uh, Pro palette. This is the Soul palette. I will be keeping this. I'll be keeping all of my Ofra palettes because I can mix and match them. Um, it has a nice big mirror and then you can change out any of the colors in here. So these are full size um, highlighters that I can change out. And then I've got these are actually highlighters from another brand, Divina, that I have in here. And then I can change out any of the eyeshadows with Ofra eyeshadows or with other brands. Um, so it's just very versatile. The packaging is very sturdy, so they're great to take on trips and, and it's nice and thin still. Um, so definitely hanging on to that. And this is the Glow Into Winter Pro Palette. And this one still has the plastic on it. This one actually has um, some smaller. So it has um, a highlighter here, it has a bronzer here, and it has some smaller um, highlighters there. And that's a blush, and that's their banana powder right there. So, and then of course you can see the eyeshadows. So haven't even touched this one yet. I just recently got this one. Um, off of BoxyCharm, I think, off of their, um, I don't remember what they call it now, it's not their pop-up anymore, but whatever it is, um, I just recently got that, so yeah, I'm definitely hanging on to that, I got a really good deal on it. This is the ABH Marvina Collection Volume 3, um, I got this one in my BoxyCharm, my, uh, premium BoxyCharm. So I really, really like the colors in here. These are beautiful fall colors um, and just great year-round colors. So this one's going nowhere. I'm hanging on to this one. Although I need to start being a little bit more cutthroat because I'm starting to keep a lot of palettes that have been around for a while that I can't really do videos on right now that I may not be touching. So... Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. All right, so with that in mind, um, I don't even think they sell this one anymore. So this is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Um, there it is out of the sleeve. And this is a gorgeous palette. Um, there, uh, it's got a huge mirror. I think this one, is this one brand new? 
I can't tell. It looks like it might be brand new. Yeah, I might have never used it. That's crazy. I, I had it. I think I decluttered it. And then I think I bought it when they put it on sale. I think that's what happened. And then I haven't used it. So it's brand new. Um, beautiful, gorgeous palette. The mattes work like a dream. And um, if you get the shimmers, their baked formula, if you get them wet, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. So this one's really actually a hard one for me to get rid of, but since they no longer sell it and it's an older palette that I'll never reach for because I won't have time, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Um, this is from last year. This was their Naughty Collection, their Naughty Palette um, from their Holiday Collection. I actually never used it. It got rave reviews. I picked it up when it was on sale, but I never used it. And of course, it's not available now. So I am going to go ahead and let this one go, which is just the smart thing to do. Although I really see some shades in here that I really want to use, but you know, that's okay. I'm going to let it go. Okay. Um, then I have the Morphe 35 XO, um, natural flirt palette and I like, Ooh, almost dropped it. I like all these pinks. This is brand new. I just recently got it on sale. Now, if they discontinue it, I'll probably let it go. Um, but I got it on a really good sale on Morphe's website. So if they keep it around, then I'm going to hang on to it and put it like in a throwback um, video or something. Um, same thing with that. this one. This is the 35F Fall into Fabulous. Um, and this one's a gorgeous palette as well. It's got a lot of gorgeous fall pa um, and just year-round colors, neutral colors. I mean, I could just keep this on my vanity and use it year-round. It's beautiful. Um, so if they're not discontinuing it, then I am definitely hanging on to it. And I just recently picked this up in um, a really good sale that Morphe was having. They've had some killer sales lately. Okay, this is um, from Odin's Eye. I just recently got this. I think I got it off Mercari. This is their Verdani palette and it is absolutely gorgeous um it's brand new hasn't been used and i got a really good deal on it so i will be making a video on this because i feel like there aren't that many videos out there on odin's eye so um there's like a select few people that make these videos and then um most people stay more with the you know the streamline brand so this is more this is an indie brand and they're based out of sweden so it's not like as popular so definitely keeping this and planning to make a video with this i'm actually going to stick this back here in my um pile of make video soon <laughs> okay this is an ofra signature palette this is the signature luxe palette it's a nice, beautiful, neutral palette. I love the size of it. And then in the middle is a um, highlighter. This is Rodeo Drive. So everybody knows Rodeo Drive and it's very pretty neutral palette. So, I mean, it's super easy to take with you um, traveling or slip it in your purse or whatever. So I'm definitely hanging on to that. Really good quality. Okay, this is the Kaleido Kaleidos Futurism. Two, this is Cyber Bronze. I've never used my Kaleidos palettes, but I do plan to probably off camera just because a lot of people have already used them on camera, unless I do them in like a throwback Thursday or, you know, whatever. Um, and so I'm hanging on to that one. This one is the Futurism 7, uh, Shasimi City. This is another gorgeous neutral palette. And haven't used this one either, but I do plan to. And like I said, I may incorporate. Maybe I need to do Throwback Thursday and Flashback Friday so I can get through all of my old palettes. And then that way I can do some some more videos for you guys. Um, I don't know, just a thought. Let me know down in the... Um, down in the comments if y'all would watch both series. If I did both Thursday and Friday. Um, I don't know. This is the e.l.f. New Classics palette. I think they still have it. It's a pretty good palette, but um, I have so many neutral palettes, I never reach for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Okay. This is the Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. I think they got rid of this collection. 
So um, I am going to go ahead and let this one go. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful palette. So um, I absolutely love it, but no point keeping it around if they don't have it anymore. Okay, here's another Ofra Signature Palette. This is the Signature Symphony Palette. Um, and in the middle, um, Blissful is the highlighter in this one. And this one's kind of more of a mauve tone palette. I really like it. So definitely hanging on to this one. I'm, I'm really liking smaller palettes now. Although I've, you know, got the Morphe and the Norvina. Most of my palettes are smaller now. Um, okay, I've got the Buxom Tiki Bar um, palette. I got this on a steal at um, Ulta and I do recommend it. Um, I haven't used this one yet, but I recommend Buxom's eyeshadows and their blushes and highlighter right here. It's the same formula as you get in their singles and this is the popular Seychelles right here. And this highlighter is Golden Hour and their um, Eyeshadow, their eyeshadows are really good. The, everything's primer infused, so they work really well. You don't have to use a primer on your lids, or you can if you want to. Um, but I'm, I'm hanging on to this one. It is still available on their website, just not on Ulta. So I'm definitely hanging on to this one. Okay, um, next up I have the Lunar Beauty Life is a Drag Palette. Um, since he got rid of this one and released a bigger one, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. I'd rather have the, the newer one than this one, um, which I don't have, but I might eventually pick it up if there's a good sale um, because I do love his um, formula. So yeah, if he has a good sale on that one, I will pick it up. Okay, this one is Bad ha from Bad Habit. You can't get these anymore. This is the Cult Mythos. These are actually dupes of the Cult line or actually dupes of Pat McGrath palettes. And since I don't have this particular Pat McGrath palette until I get this Pat McGrath palette. I'm going to keep this one in my collection. Um, now I do eventually plan to get this Pat McGrath palette and when I do I'll let this one go. Um, but for now I'm hanging on to this one. Okay this is Midas Cosmetics um, collaboration with Smoky Glow and I love Smoky Glow but you know I never use this palette and I don't see myself using it honestly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Midas Cosmetics, they're nice. They're just not my favorite formula. And this is, I don't know, it's not my favorite color story. It's a cute color story. It's just not my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Okay, next up I have Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. And this is what it actually looks like. Now this formula is incredible. I've heard they've changed their formula. I don't know if that's the case with the Queen of Hearts palette. I hope not because this formula is awesome and beautiful. I'm trying to tilt it so y'all can see all the different colors. So I'm definitely not getting rid of this one. This is one of those that I'll keep for a long time probably until it goes bad because it just, I can, one of those that I could leave on my vanity again and use all year round, you know what I mean? So. Um, okay, this is the um, C Color Cosmetics Unisex 4 palette. This is a dupe for the um, Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette, and since she discontinued that, um, I got this. But honestly, looking at it, I have okay, I'm not going to take the plastic off. I have so many colors like this. I'm just going to go ahead and let this go. Um, someone will get a really good deal on it. It's brand new, untouched, so, and it's really, really good quality. So I'm going to let that one go. And I, I think they do still sell that on C-Color Cosmetics website as well. Um, so yeah. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. Um, next up, I've got this Tarte Leave Your Mark palette. It says Double Duty Beauty. It's just a nice little cute little palette. I think I got it in like a, a box that like, you know, one of their things where you pick a foundation, pick a palette, pick this and that. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, honestly, it's a little bit too mid-tone for me. It only has one deep color in there. Um, so this is brand new. I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. I don't foresee myself using this one. So I'm sure that somebody else will get a lot of really good use out of it. It's just, 
not really deep enough for me. I like mine to be a little bit deeper. Okay. Um, next up, I have my LA Girl um, Break Free, and this one is BU Palette. Okay, this one has more light neutrals and oranges in it. Very beautiful palette. Um, so I am, um, I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Kind of reminds me of the Morphe Fall into Frost. So yeah, I think I'm going to let this one go. Okay, and then I have the um, LA Girl Pro Artistry um, palette. And this one has more blues and teals and neutrals. Um, so this one I think I will hang on to just for a little while and see if I do maybe a throwback Thursday with that or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to hang on to that one. Okay, then I have my Hip Dot Zion palette. Got this, I think, in a boxy charm. Um, and this one, I really did like this one. I liked the quality of it a lot. Um, I like the purples and lavenders and all that in here and the mauves. And it's the only Hip Dot palette I believe I have. Um, they've started getting into some funky collaborations and stuff since I got this palette, so I haven't picked up any of those. So I think I will hang on to this one at least for a little while. Um, maybe do like, you know, another video with it um, and see how I like it and make my decision there. Okay, then this is the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette. Um, this is the deep version. Now I absolutely love Sydney Grace eyeshadows, so this one is absolutely not going anywhere. This is what it looks like right here. Beautiful palette. Um, highly recommend this palette. So yeah, I'll probably do this one in like a flashback Friday or something too. Um, because it's just too beautiful not to. I think I got it in the deep. I don't know. Yeah, deep. Okay, there we go. And then I've got the the vault that Sigma, Sigma released. I guess it was, I don't remember if it was earlier this year or if it was last year. That's crazy if it was last year. And it's got the Corda Rosa Warm Neutrals, Untamed, and Enchanted. Now that I think about it, I think it was a holiday thing. And then I bought it after the holidays when it went on really good sale. So here's the court. I'm keeping all of these, by the way. Um, because I think all of these are still available. So here's the Corda Rosa. Again, I haven't used any of these. So see, that's my problem. I buy so many palettes and then I don't have time to use them. So love the color story in this one. So definitely keeping this one. Okay. take them out of that box though just so that I can see them more often here's the warm neutrals and honestly I might get rid of the warm neutrals I don't know let me look at it it's brand new untouched well maybe not it's not as warm neutrals as I thought it was it's got some pinks and stuff in there I'll hang on to that one I like it I like it a lot actually so I'm going to hang on to that one Okay, oh, put it back in the box. Alrighty, and then the Untamed, which got rave reviews, so, so did the Corda Rosa. And back in its day, the Warm Neutrals did, and this one is their newer formula, which is supposed to be better, so there's the Untamed. Please excuse my tummy sounds if you hear them. They'll probably come across microphones. So on this microphone, it picks up a lot of sound. So uh, yeah, my tummy's making a lot of noises. I like. I think I might have mentioned. I don't know. I may not have. I just got out of the hospital this morning for another IBS attack. So my tummy is doing funny things. So please excuse that. Okay. And then this is the Enchanted palette. And hanging on to this one as well. Okay, and that's what the packaging looks like on the outside, and there you go, that's what the color story looks like, gorgeous, all those shimmers, oof, so pretty, so yeah, I'm going to hang on to these, and at least play with them a couple times, and get my fill for them, and make sure 
I like them and probably do a video with them and go from there. All right, but like I said, I'll probably keep them separate from this little box. I'll probably keep the little box for something else, but um, that way I'll see them and I'll remember them <laughs> because I think that's part of the problem is I don't remember them. All right, this is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. I'll tell y'all right now, none of my Natasha, well, I take that back. I'm not going to say none of my Natasha Denona's are going away. All right, so there's the bronze palette. I love this size. This is my favorite size, the midi palette. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one is the Sunrise palette. Love that one. Okay, and then this one, so I'm keeping those. Should have said that. And then this one is the Zendo palette. Haven't used this one yet. Need to do a video on this one. I actually have um, an LA Girl palette that I need to compare this to that I think um, is a kind of a little bit of a dupe. Andrea Mattigliano had done a video on that and it looked like a pretty good dupe so I'd like to do that. This is a dupe from Alter Ego. This is a dupe for the Metropolis and I was never able to get my hands on it. And I haven't been able to find it anywhere, so if anybody wants to sell their Metropolis palette to me at a reasonable price, um, hit me up. People are selling them right now at like 300 bucks. I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay that much for something that's sold for 129 Not happening. Alright, and this is um, the Violet Voss um, hashtag palette right here. This one's been out a long time. I really do like this palette. I love the color story. Ah, don't drop it. Um, however, like I said, it's been out for a long time. Don't see myself using it um, much, so I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Okay, and then this one is the um, Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette in collaboration with Mel Thompson, which just makes me want to cry. <laughs> um, so this one's not going anywhere. I am. I'm tearing up. Sorry. Um, never met her, but loved her as a person, loved her in the videos. There's just something that she touched my soul in her videos. So anyways, I'm definitely keeping this one. Wow, let me get myself together. Okay, I pulled myself back together after that. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I got so emotional about that with the Tiny Marvels palette. Like I said, I'd never met her in person. It just hit me. But anyways, okay, moving on. Um, I've got the um, Natasha Denona Gold palette. Um... And this is what she looks like. She is beautiful and she is going nowhere. Definitely hanging on to her. Now this is the palette that kept me from saying I'm not getting rid of any of my Natasha Denona palettes. I think I am going to let this one go. This is the Tropic palette right here. Oh, didn't even show it to you. It wasn't even on screen. Tropic palette. I just noticed there was a broken shade in here. <laughs> That's why I was making that face. But anyways, it's fine. Um, so this is what she looks like. I never reach for her, so I'm going to let her go to another home. Yep, so that one is going bye-bye. Okay, next up is my Natasha, Denu my Natasha Denona Trichrome Palette. Um, I have not used this one yet. I'm very excited to use this one, so it's not going anywhere. Okay. Next up is the Morphe Ashley Strong palette. I did a look, I did a video on this one. I was really impressed with this palette. I liked it a lot. So I am keeping this palette. I also got her cake liner palette and I really like the cake liner palette. So neither one of them are going anywhere. I actually need to do another video on this one with some more looks because it's got some nice, really deep tones in here, which I really like this time of year. Okay, this is the Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette, and this is one where she explains you can use it all over your face and on your eyes. It's all matte, so I want to give it a try and see how I like it. Um, for my contour tones, I like how you can mix a little bit of, you know, your browns with like the gray to do a contour, and you know, you can make your perfect like bronze and whatever, so... I need to rewatch her video to know exactly how to use it, but this is kind of a take, I think, on the Hindash palette that was so expensive. So I want to give this one a go and see how I like it. Um, if so, it'd be one of those that I could just, you know, kind of keep to the side to use for everything. So yeah, I, I'm going to hang on to that one and give it a try. 
Okay, the next palette I have is the ColourPop Your Golden palette. I think I got this when they were having a really good sale, like on their um, on their Mega palettes. And honestly, it looks so much prettier in person than it did on in picture. So I'm definitely hanging on to this one. I haven't used it yet, um, but I'm gonna give it a try and see how I like it. Um, I, it's hard for me to let my ColourPop palettes go. And I, I could do like a whole series on ColourPop, I feel like. So, yeah. Um, next up is the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. Okay, and this is what this looks like. Definitely not letting this go. This is a gorgeous neutral palette. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. Um, I think this is another one I got in like the, the cell on their Mega palettes. All right, this one is hard for me. This is a Tati Beauty. I never used this one. I was able to get my hands on it and then she just closed her doors. So part of me is like, you know, I want to keep it. But the other part of me is like, well, no, it's not fair to those of y'all. I can't use it on camera. It's not fair to those of y'all who can't get it anymore. So it really doesn't make sense for me to keep it, especially with all the ones that I've kept that are older. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and let it go which is kind of a shocker to me. It's really hard for me to let this one go because I love Tati. Um, but what I'm hoping is she gets through all of this, um, of what, what's it called? All, all this lawsuit stuff, whatever they call it. The, I forgot the, it's too late for me to remember the technical term for all this lawsuit stuff that she's going through. And I'm hoping that she opens another beauty i think that's what's going to happen i think she's going to litigation that's what it is i think she's going to get done with all this litigation stuff save up some more money and then i feel like she's going to open another um, beauty line it'll just probably have to be named something else so that's what i think is going to happen i feel i hope i feel like that's what tati's going to do and that's what i hope she's going to do because i've heard this palette is so incredible and i heard the blendiful was amazing too and i love tati so Anywho, that's that's my wish for her. So, that being said, I am going to go ahead and let this palette go. Yee, I can't believe I'm doing that. That is crazy to me. All right, I've got a bunch of little ColourPop palettes here. So, I'm going to try to... Oh, I've got some little Natasha Denona ones too. So, let me separate that and go ahead and do the Natasha Denona. I've got the little mini Zendo palette here. So I'm going to definitely hang on to that. I love all of her little mini palettes, so I probably won't let any of those go. Um, this one is the ColourPop Lyric palette. I loved this palette. It was really good. I don't like the pressed glitter that much, but I like all the other shades. So I'm hanging on to that one. Um, this is the ColourPop uh, SWAK, which stands for Sealed with a Kiss. It's more red tone. I've never used it, so I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. I'm not sure if they still have that one or not. Um, and then this is the ColourPop statement piece. Um, it's like more orange, so I don't really wear oranges a whole lot, even though that, that middle one right there is kind of calling to me. I don't wear oranges a whole lot, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. Okay, and then this one is Cherish. Now this one's more burgundy than red, and this one I did like a lot, so I am going to keep this one. Okay, and then I got their bright ones, which are like neutral with a pop of color. This is Neon Gaze, um, and it's pretty, but I don't need those neutral colors, and I don't need the little pops of neon, so I think I'm gonna let all three of them go. They're really pretty. I don't think I've used any of them. So, yeah, I think I'm going to let them go. And there's the third one right there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put all of those on my Mercari. And then the last one I have here is the um, ColourPop Crush Palette. And I did like this one a lot as well. And it does not have any um, glitters in it. So, yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one as well. Um, and then last but not, not least in this group of palettes, I have the e.l.f. cream and sugar palette right here. Um, so let's see. I do like this one, and I got rid of a lot of the bite-sized ones. So I am going to go ahead and keep this one just so I have a few e.l.f. palettes on hand um, for comparison's sake. So all right. So I think this wraps up part um, three. 
if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm going to end it here and say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps me out. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and shared this video as well. That would really help me out. If you subscribe, make sure to ring that notification bell that um, so that way you'll get notified of all my future content. As I mentioned, anything that I said I'm getting rid of will be listed on my Mercari page um, and the link is down below. Also, I currently have a giveaway going on right now. Um, once I reach a thousand subscribers, um, then I will draw for that giveaway. So I'll link that video down below. Also, I have, if it's before December 18th, 2021, I have a uh, giveaway going for the um, ColourPop Mandalorian The Child palette. Um, so definitely that one will be linked down below as well. But if it's after December 18th, 2021, I'm sorry, then that has already ended. So with all that being said, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having a great day or evening wherever you are in this world. I hope that you are staying safe. I hope that you are staying healthy. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye!